Hi, my name is Nick, and in today's video, I will be attempting to install this F-Neo 3-speed planetary crank set into my Velomobile. I have quite a few tools, but I'm going to start off with some Allen wrenches, and I also have a Park Tool BBT-9 to remove the existing bottom bracket. And we'll go along in the video, and I may have to have quite a few more tools, so we'll see about that. Hope you enjoy this. So please bear with me as I take you on this adventure because there's not too much light and it's kind of hard to see inside the Velomobile. I've already removed the front hatch and the crank set so let's get going to the next step and that's to remove the bottom bracket which is up there on the left side of the screen. So the first thing is to probably remove this bottom bracket since it's no longer a Shimano bottom bracket, it's a proprietary bottom bracket. There is signs here with arrow, I'm not sure if you see it, but it says that way to tighten. So you have to turn it the other direction to loosen. And let me see if I can squeeze this in here. And if not, I'm going to have to remove the camera in order to loosen this. Alright, let me remove the camera to get more space for my arms. The front of the bike is to the left, and as you can see, there's arrows to tighten on the bottom bracket cups right here. Sorry, like right here, there's an arrow, and that's the direction to tighten. So now I can go ahead, I already loosened it, and you go the opposite direction. So this would be this direction for this side, the left side. I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this one, and then the other side I'll show you is this way to loosen this side of the bottom bracket. And go ahead and unscrew this all the way to remove the bottom bracket. Once that removed, that is removed, you go ahead and remove the front derailleur. And I probably won't be needing the chain keeper either. So there's an Allen bolt right here. Go ahead and unscrew that and then also undo the cable for the front derailleur. After you loosen this boat off and remove the cable, go ahead and slide the rear derailleur off its holder. Also keep in mind here that there is this triple it has a bolt at the end and you can go ahead and unscrew that to get the chain off. After I remove that, I'm probably going to need some pliers to pull off this end cap here on the derailleur cable and then pull the housing out because the F-Neo crankset has its own housing already built in. The next step I have to do is to remove the front shifter here. It is a grip shift, so just a Allen key. So this just needs a three millimeter here and then loosen this Allen and then you can go ahead and slide the left shifter off. Now I can go ahead and pull this cable out and unroute it through the front end. Sorry, the light twisted there. And pull it out through here and Pull the cable all the way out. So the bottom bracket that came with this came pre-greased. So I'm going to go ahead and pull off this left side and then insert it into the bottom bracket shell and tighten it in there. So to install this bottom bracket I had to actually use this quick grip to hold the bottom bracket tool in place because the engagement on the bottom bracket is real shallow so every time I used a 3 8 inch ratchet wrench um, it'll always pop off even if I'm holding it as good as I can so now I gotta squeeze this on real tight and then use a open ended crescent wrench to go ahead and tighten it. Now that the bottom bracket's installed we could go ahead and try to affix the crank set over this right side. Well I slid the crank right crank arm on and it looks like I came across an epic fail unfortunately. 
I'm not sure if you can see, but this reaction arm here hits this thing on the other side, which is a bolt, and therefore cannot get proper connection to to the crank and the reaction arm or lever. When I asked Ethneo about this reaction lever and the length to the middle of the reaction lever, they said it was 33 millimeters. However, it's probably a little more than that. So unfortunately it's not, doesn't look like it's gonna fit. So if you take a look at this reaction lever to approximately the center of the bottom bracket, which I have here pointed out, it looks more like it's 38 millimeters. Now if it were 33 millimeters it would fit, but 38 is a little too long. Before I purchased the FNEO crank set, I even emailed Whitker from FNEO crank set and he mentioned that the torque arm could rest on the bottom bracket. One of my concerns was how long the reaction lever was and I asked him and he said from the center of the bottom bracket should be about 33 millimeters. So unfortunately the reaction lever or torque arm here on mine was a little longer than that. Either that or my measurements were off a little bit. Well, unfortunately, I wasn't able to install the FNEO crank set on my first go around, but stay tuned for future videos. I hope to mount a plate or get some additional material so I can get that torque arm resting in an area where I won't damage the bottom bracket. So if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe and thank you for watching as always. And as always, have a most wonderful, great day. Thanks again.